Hey everybody, it's Erin Reed and welcome. I just got these amazing fun things in. So these are little mini maker kits that came from Leisure Arts. The links are all down below for all of them. And I got a nice big variety. So some of these are for adults, some of these are for kids, some of these are just for everybody. So let's take them one at a time. They're a little crinkly with some of the wrapping paper. All right, so let's push off some of these cute little kits. All right, so the first one I got, and I got this one with my daughter in mind. These ones are some little cute pom-pom mini animal kits. Let's open up the mouse. I haven't even broken these open yet. So everything, I believe, but the glue is included. So it makes one, instructions are included. Oh, yep, here's the instructions. <laughs> oh, no, yep, here's the instructions. Using the photo as a guide, glue the small pom-pom. So open it up, and you get a little pom-pom, little mouse. My daughter is seven and she saw this come in the mail and so it's really loud and annoying. She went bananas. She just thought these were the cutest things in the world. So it's a little pom-pom and then it looks like you put a little mouse head on here. You can do it kind of like this. And then you've got the little felt pieces and you just glue all the little bits together and it just makes something super, super cute. So love that. So there is the little mouse, there's a bird and there's a fox. So that is so stinking adorable. I'm just going to pop the regular pom-poms in there. So cool thing is, is these are like three bucks. So that's not too bad. And Leisure Arts tends to have a lot of their products also in like Hobby Lobby and Michaels and things like that. So I do have a link for you in my site to go to their site. It is an affiliate link. So if you happen to purchase something, I do make a little bit of a profit from that and helps me bring you guys videos. And good morning, Steph. How you doing? So um, thank you, MM. So um, these ones are super cute. I think like for a seven-year-old, I'm trying to see if there's a age on here that says who would be good for. It doesn't, but I totally think my seven-year-old daughter could rock the world on this. And she went bananas when she saw this. And truthfully, I would think that these are fun to make as well. And for the price, like three to four dollars, that is a super cute little gift that you can give to a few different people. Like you could give a few of these to somebody for like a Christmas gift or birthday. Because I could have given it to her for Christmas and I'm so stinking silly. I just forgot. I was mentioning that. I was thinking about that earlier. So in kit includes, you get the hoop so you can see all the pieces so you get the hoop you get some yarn so you get the yarn oh here's the yarn um because you're going to dangle it so you get the floss floss uh assorted felt pieces here we go that's little felt uh you get some beads i guess that's it a needle two ounces and fiber fill so let's open this guy up oh, there's a little see i haven't even i've only opened up one ah! as i rip open the package there was a sticker on there I was just being silly about. So it gives you the instructions and it tells you pretty detailed instructions. The other kit that I had also had pretty detailed instructions and the pom-poms are pretty simple. It tells you how to do the inside dream catcher and add the beads, right? And then it shows you how to do the unicorn horn and how to attach it. It's showing you how to use a hot glue gun, but whatever glue you like using for felt and stuff. And then how to drape them. So look, there's your hoop. The flowers are already, look, they're already pre-cut. I know it looks like a giant mess right here. But look, these are those spiral flowers. I love making these spiral flowers. They're so cool. All you have to do is roll them. That's it. I'm going to do them one right here because they're so fun. So you just roll, roll, roll. <laughs> and it makes a super cute. My daughter could totally do this because they're already pre-cut. So this would be another super cute little project that you could give somebody. I'm going to keep on rolling because I'm having fun. And it shows you how to do that in the instructions, which I have just off camera there. So there you go. So look. And then you get to the very end. I just did a really crappy version of it. but you, And then boom, there's your flower. That's not really showing up very well. So there we go. There's your flower. Look how cute that is. So it gives you all the pre-cut stuff. It gives you the ears. This is another type of flower. These ones are even, even simpler. You just fold them in half and then you roll them. And you can put these inside of the other ones that I just did. But look how cute that little flower is. Look how adorable. So they're just so cute. You get the bigger felt, more rolled flowers. Here's the fiber fill so you can make it stuffed. And then you have your yarn. And all the colors are there. Oh, and then you get a little tiny bag of beads. Ta-da, little pearls. So, I mean, it really does make for a cute cute little craft. Um, I'll be doing some of these on film. I'll probably have my daughter come in and we can work on it together. But, I mean, it is super cute. And I opened that from the wrong end. Otherwise, it probably would have opened up a heck of a lot better. But I want to say, like, this kit is like seven bucks. That's not bad. 
that's a pretty good, considering all the stuff, lots of good crafty stuff. Depending on how old you are, it depends on if the kids or the adults needs more help. But that's a fun one. Um, another fun one I picked up was a felt flower wreath. Let's see if I can open it without tearing the box this time. And these are not the only ones. Okay, so I really can't tear it without tearing the box. So look, they have a succulent garden. They have a vase of flowers. They have cacti, a succulent wreath. There's a whole bunch of other things. This one came from a book, but there's other kits beyond the ones I'm just showing you. I just picked up a little sampling. And they are so cute. Again, like $7. Oh, this includes a little bonus book that has six other projects with felt flowers. So I already showed you how to do the felt flowers. So here they all are. Here's your embroidery hoop, a little bit of embroidery floss. You get your book that has some more information in it. So it gives you more ideas of fun things to do in there. Look at that. So if you get your own felt, your own you know stuff, look how cute. And then you get your felt, which goes inside of there. You get all your flowers. And then it's just a matter of putting together and making your cool thing and you know if you don't want to do like the embroidery of the hello you could totally do something different you don't have to follow this exactly so that's the cool thing is you get everything that you need but you can really kind of make it your own so again for like seven bucks it's kind of a bad deal i think that's awesome i would totally think this is great if i got this for a present <laughs> i would love I, you know but i'm a crafty person so there we go Makes sense. All right, I'm just not going to try and mess with trying to put that in there right now on camera. All right, the next one, and this is a huge, huge trend. This is a paint pouring book or uh, kit. And this thing's got some heft to it, let me tell you. So it includes two canvases, paint colors, paintbrush, two pairs of gloves, and 32 page project book. So let's open this up. So you get everything you need in here. It only gives you a few colors. Be careful because you can make mud. But look, you can blend colors. So if you took, and this is just going back to basic stuff, if you took uh, blue and then the purpley color or the red, you're going to make purple, another pretty purple. I seriously should have gotten some scissors out because I keep ripping all these boxes doing them online. Okay, this also includes a bonus book as well. So it gives you some more ideas. Um, I think this is about the same price. It's about that $13. Oh my gosh, they're big, bigger paints than I thought. So you get and it talks about to thin the white paint add water slowly because you want it nice and thin right um should be consistency of warm honey should fall from the stick in the single stream without breaking so it gives you some hints on that gives you lots of fun stuff about paint pouring I mean, this is just a fun kind of ooey gooey i'm totally doing this on camera so we're going to be doing this this project later on so the puddle pour technique it gives you all different kinds of techniques of how to do dirty flip cups so the dirty pour you know, so how to do the dirty drag. <laughs> Let's just sound bad when you think about them, but that's fun. Two small canvases. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting funny looks over here. <laughs> There's another person in the house. They're giving you weird looks at the comments. All right, so here we have two small canvases. Um, I think they're like a six by six. That's what it looks at looks like. So you get two canvases. You get a giant white paint. So look at how big of these paints are here. So we got three, oh, this one's got a little bit of uh, air pressure. There we go, oh, it's just gotten sucked in. So you get three colors, but you can mix and blend and obviously mix in the white and have all kinds of fun with that. We got a pair of gloves. Uh, I would say that if you're gonna do this, I would get better gloves personally. I probably wouldn't use these, but you do get four pair or two pairs. So you get one for each canvas. So but I would, I like the tighter fitting gloves personally. <laughs> Those are a little bit big for me. You get a paintbrush, and then obviously you get all the instructions to how to do it. So if you had somebody who is interested in doing paint pouring and they have no clue what they're doing, they want kind of a step-by-step, -step, this would be an awesome kit for them. So there is that one. Hi, Shirley, how are you doing? All right, so what's the next one? All right, this is one, this is a throwback from the 70s. We got macrame. So here is a plant hanger, and there's other versions of this one too. And so it includes the arrow. So you have the wood arrow and all the pieces to the macrame. So everything is in here. Gives the instructions, cute little wood hanger. And then obviously the rope. And so here is the main pieces. You get the instructions about what to do. Look at that. And it tells you kind of how to tie the knots. I've never done this. This is brand new to me. So when I saw this kit, I was like, ooh. But it's all about tying knots. And it shows you kind of how to go through and tie the knots. So I've done knot tying in my life. And this one's kind of a new one for me, doing something like that. <laughs> That's a little more complicated. 
that's just a square knot. No, that's just a, yeah, that looks like a more complicated square knot than I've ever seen. But you get the idea. So we've got clove hitches, overhand knots, a lark's head knot. I do that all the time. I just call that like a half hitch. Um, and so there's just all different ways of doing this particular kind of macrame. So I think that's fun. And then you got this, all you just need with scissors. So pretty much for most of these kits, the only thing that you kind of have to pull out of your own is whatever glue you like and some scissors. But everything else is in there. So that is awesome. I don't know if I'm going to do this one in film because I think I would screw up the knots too often and be like, crap. <laughs> but it's a fun thing. Um, the last two, and I just brought two of them out to show you. And these ones are the embroidery projects. Now I have started one and I'm going to show you this one. So just to show you what's in the kit, I have it off in a little plastic bag here. So in the kit, this is one that's not been opened yet. You get a whole bunch of fun stuff. So you get your embroidery fabric and it already has the printed image image on there. I just think that's so pretty and it's not super giant. So it doesn't feel super like really intimidating. I think you could, if you're just trying it for the first time, you've never done it. This is a nice, good, small, and this is again, like seven bucks, not too bad. Here it goes in and it shows you like the steps, how to turn this. This is really easy to apply. It also talks about different types of stitching. I had never done the woven wheel before and I followed instructions and I, it was, it was very, actually very quite simple. So it gives you different instructions and then it goes in and it does, it does a color coding. It says what color to use and then how many strands So for instance, for this particular, it's a satin stitch and it's six strands. It's the French knot and six strands, it's the back strip, three strands and so forth. So it gives you an idea of how many to use and what kind of stitch to do. And then here's a finished project, right? And then it gives you all the floss. So, and then it gives you your needle. It's the right size needle and it gives you, and then you can obviously when you're not using the thread, you can put it back on there. So I absolutely love that. So I took this, not this kit because I haven't done this one yet, but I took this set, this one with me. And I'll put that back in later to get the idea. I took this one with me in a plastic baggie and I started it. And there's a video coming on this soon. And I've taken it to a couple of different things. So we went camping and I took it with me camping. I just sat in my chair and I just, I did all of this part here. And then in the drive back, cause it was a couple hours, I did the wheels and all the wheels. My husband was driving. So I was just doing the embroidery and having fun. And then my son had a tournament this past weekend. And so I brought it with me cause it was a lot of sitting in the stands waiting for him to do his one minute performance. Cause it was a kickstart karate tournament and he had to go up, but you have to wait your turn to get up there. And so I knew there was something I was going to want to do and I didn't want to be stuck in my phone and my daughter brought coloring and, you know, so we kind of sat there and I didn't want to waste all my phone battery. And so I started and of course I'm looking around and watching and stuff, but I got a little bit done and I finished this piece and this piece and this piece. And it was just something I could stop and start, look up, no big deal. If I was in the middle of a stitch, I could quickly stop it, throw it back in the bag. The only thing I did is I added in some scissors, which I have my little tiny scissors I brought with me and then I brought this entire thing because I had all the floss in there and I just left it on and then just popped the whole thing inside my little Ziploc baggie and I was good to go. So I've been working on this one in the meantime. Haven't done handiwork. Yeah, it's all like little handiwork stuff. I love this. And I haven't done it in a long time either. The only stitch that I knew how to do prior to doing this one, I learned how to do the woven wheel. I learned how to do the weaving one, the basket, is I have done what they call the satin stitch. And I knew how to do the chain stitch. And that was the only ones. Oh, and then a straight stitch or a back stitch. So I knew a few of them just because I've hand sewed a few things in my life. And I've done a little bit of embroidery, but not much. But it was kind of fun to learn how to do it. And it was just, you know, it's just sewing. And it was kind of, there. I will say my fingers, because I'm not used to holding a needle and pushing a needle and pulling it, got a little bit sore. But I enjoyed it. I had fun. It was something easy I could do. I held a conversation. There was a whole group of us sitting around a campfire. And I was just sewing away and having a conversation and being a part of what was going on. And people were coming by and looking at it and going, wow, that's pretty cool. And Lots of people have commented, like, I haven't seen anybody doing that in ages. I should do that. That is so much fun. So it was just, it was kind of neat. It's kind of fun. So take a look at these. Oh, and the embroidery kits online. It is a little bit time consuming, but you know what? You could sit in your bed. You could sit in front of the TV. You could have lots of fun while you're playing around with these kits. And it's not something that, especially for these ones, you could step away from it. Like I started this three weeks ago, two weeks ago, something like that. When we went, yeah, 
not this last weekend, the weekend before is when I opened it and took it with me. And I just dinked away at it, you know, as I sat down and had a little moment, but, you know, while we were camping, I just kind of did that or at the tournament or, you know, you could all kinds of places that you could kind of have fun with that. It's not something that you have to finish that one moment or it's going to get ruined. Um, and then the embroidery kits, I want to see there's a good 20, 25 different versions and they're not huge. That's a nice thing. They're not, they're not super, super huge. Count and cross stitch is another version of that. At that there's no kits like this from Leisure Arts, but there's tons of count and cross stitch. But yeah, it's one of those things that you could kind of get started and then you could put away. But you know, I'm definitely thinking about these for my Christmas gifts this year and like who would like them. I think my mom might really get into this because she loves doing cross stitch and it's something a little similar, but a little different. So you never know. Kind of like the diamond art painting, it's the same concept. You know, it's just a little something to kind of dink away at. So check these out. They're super fun. I think I'm going to have a blast playing with these in the next little while. I know I just made a mess here on my desk. But we got the paint pouring. We got the little pom-poms. If you guys missed it earlier, the cutie little pom-poms for the kids. We've got um, the felt wreath. We've got the felt um, unicorn. Let's pull that one back out so you guys can see that. This one my daughter is dying to do. So the felt unicorn head, so adorable. And then we've got the felt wreath hoop kit whatever yeah felt flower hoop kit everything you need and then the paint pouring and then the macrame which I've never done so and I've done paint pouring but it's going to be kind of fun to see I, I've never seen it in a book where it's been like oh well here's this one this is very similar how to do it or you know just and everything's already kind of given to me here's a swipe method and this is how to do it you know that it's just all laid out for you about basic stuff about what you want to do some helpful hints so I love having this little book here because it's right in front of me. I don't have to, as much as I make videos and as much as I love watching videos, sometimes I just want a very nice, concise, boom, right in front of me. I don't have to watch the entire video to get to the point that I just want to learn that one thing. So having the book is really, really nice. And that's all I got. <laughs> I would love to see your counter cross stitch blender. That would look really gorgeous. Do you have like a favorite kind of theme that you like to do? I've done them. I did like this massive one that was like a... It's still hanging in our bathroom in the kids' bathroom. It's all fish and like it looks like it's like an underwater scene and coral and came out at the same time Nemo, but it's not Nemo. And then my mother has made a counter cross stitch for each of the kids when they were born and she put the date they were born, their weight, their height, their length, the time they were born, and it had some sort of picture. One was a duck, one was a fish, just you know, cute little things for the kids. So those are hanging up on the wall as well and framed. Nice. It's really pretty. So thanks so much for stopping by. The links are down below for the kits. If you're looking for something for Christmas or for a holiday gift or for a birthday gift, and you're just kind of like, hey, they're crafty, they like doing stuff like that. I think these would be a fun gift to give somebody or for yourself because you're like, hey, I always wanted to try that, but you don't want to invest in getting all the massive supplies. You want everything kind of in one nice kit, which I, I love the fact that these are in kits. That's my favorite part. And I will see you guys again soon. Don't forget to subscribe and share the video. Hit the like button for further notifications. And bye-bye, everybody.